Welcome to Film and Page. I'm Dominic, and this is another episode of Road to Dune. So some Dune news came out. I'm a little bit late getting on this uh, just because I had a bunch of stuff come up in my life I had to deal with. Um, nothing serious, but, you know, just the things that come up that interfere with your YouTube hobby, hobby the everyday realities <laughs> of having a job and stuff. But anyway, uh, so there is some Dune news to talk about. So the first thing I want to talk about is the new Dune novel by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. And then there were more pages revealed for the upcoming Dune graphic novel. And then uh, I want to touch on a little bit about the upcoming Dune House of Trades comic series. So first let's talk about the Dune new Dune novel. So this uh, book is going to be called Dune, the Duke of Caladan. And it's... Uh, obviously written by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. This is actually their first Dune book in quite some years. Uh, they haven't done a Dune book in, in a while. This is uh, like the longest gap there has ever been between their books. So what is this story? Is a, what the story is about, uh, the, the write-up on Amazon is uh, Leto Atreides, Duke of Caladan and father of the Muad'Dib. While all know of his fall, and the rise of his son, little is known about the quiet ruler of Caladan and his partner Jessica, or how a duke of an inconsequential planet earned an emperor's favor, the ire of House Harkonnen, and set himself on a collision course with his own death. This is the story. And uh, the novel is going to clock in at 320 pages, and it comes out October 13th, 2020. Now, the cover art here is not the final cover art, so... Uh, I don't know how much difference they're going to be between this and the final cover art. But I think this image looks pretty cool, actually. It would make for a bad cover. But to be honest, I really do miss the covers they did for the Dune books. Uh, the first ones they did, like Dune, House Atreides, Dune, House Harkonnen, uh, Machine Crusade, and those books. Uh, I actually really like the format of those covers, and I kind of wish they would have kept with that. Uh, so... This is a book I'm going to pick up. It's been quite a while since I've read any of the Dune books by Brian Herbert and Kevin G. Anderson. So I'm actually quite a few books behind as far as their books go. I've read everything like up to Sandworms of Dune. So I've read uh, uh, all three of the House books, all three of the Machine Crusade books, and then uh, uh, the Hunters of Dune and Sandworms of Dune. And that's it so far. And then there's, I know that they've put out a bunch more after that. Now, the one thing about this, though, is uh, it's it's kind of getting boring, though, because all the books they're doing, all the stories they're doing, they're, they're all kind of like prequels. No, or they all are prequels, with the exception of Hunters of Dune and Sandworms of Dune. So it's always a story that will take place in between or around the other uh, six original Frank Herbert books. Uh, so this is another prequel, which to me, I don't know, it's kind of boring because you kind of know where the story's going to end up anyway. Uh, what I'd like what I think would be actually be a bit more interesting is if they're going to insist on doing Dune books. Do a book that takes place like a few thousand years after the last book in the timeline, which is Sandworms of Dune. And, uh, you know, pick up the story there. And uh, then you can do something a lot more original. You can introduce all these brand new characters and stuff. So now let's move on to the comic images. So this is for the upcoming graphic novel. And these were released at uh, on Comic-Con at home. So I was looking at these pages and they actually look quite a bit better than the first two pages that they showed for the preview art, which uh, if you watch that video, I wasn't impressed at all. And I don't think they should have been the first ones to come up with that. This here artwork looks a little bit stronger. Now it is by the same artists. And uh, now the colors seem a little, have a bit more depth to them than what those first pages did. Uh, especially here with those uh, what they look like ornithopters and a spice harvester in the background. And if you'll notice, those ornithopters actually look a lot like the ornithopters that we saw in the preview art for Dune uh, House of Trades. So I guess visually they're going to link them up, which is a cool thing to do. Uh, but one page they showed that actually does look very good is this one of the sandworm. And uh, that image makes the sandworm just look ginormous. So they did a good job there. That is actually a really good page. So this has now uh, boosted my confidence in the graphic novel, which was kind of shot down there. And um, 
and it's uh, renewed my interest in it. I was going to buy it anyway, but now uh, you know I'm looking forward to it a lot more than what I was before. So uh, that that's uh, that's pretty cool. So now I want it to touch on Dune House Atreides. So when I did a video on this, uh, I went over the art team that was involved in this book. And uh, one of the artists involved was Jay Lee. And Jay Lee is going to be some, doing some variant covers for this book. And uh, I'm kind of curious about how his art style that suits the gothic stuff really well, how that's going to work with Dune. I'm very curious to see that. But uh, now I know a lot of people that follow my channel, uh, they mostly follow it for all the Dune content. Uh, so whenever I put out like content involving like uh, comic books and stuff like that, the hits or the views aren't quite as high. So what uh, some of you might not know, I did a video on Sunday about this situation that went down between Tom King and Jay Lee. And uh, just to try to, you know, shorten it up, uh, basically, G Tom King came out and publicly threw Jay Lee under the bus. And the reason he did that was Jay Lee had do done two variant covers for Ethan Van Skyver's Cyber Frog Wrecked Planet. And uh, now Jay Lee is doing an alternate cover for uh, Rorschach 1 for DC Comics, which Tom King is the writer on. And I guess Tom King didn't like that. So he went out and uh, basically called out DC Comics and uh, accused Jay Lee of being a part of a hate group. And then, which he later came out with a second tweet and said, uh, you know, he had talked to Tom, he had talked to Jay Lee, and Jay Lee said that, uh, you know, he had uh, no time for any kind of hate, and he didn't even know what Comic Skate was because he wasn't on social media. So everyone uh, called out Tom King on it and basically called him a piece of shit for it because it's something he should have. It should have been just between him and Jay Lee, and it's something he shouldn't have done on uh, social media. Well, Jay Lee came out with a response, uh, basically saying that, uh, no, Tom King, we're not all good, and he wasn't very impressed with what happened. Uh, so now a lot of people are uh, kind of like gunning or looking for Jay Lee's head because of this now, because of what Tom King did, because basically Tom King whipped up this out outrage mob to come after Jay Lee. Uh, so what does this have to do with this book? Well, that situation like really pissed me off, and that's why I did a video on it on Sunday. I usually don't do any videos on Sundays. Uh, so if you want to hear my full explanation, everything that happened with this, that situation, check out that video. But uh, what it has to do with uh, Dune House of Atreides is uh, if Jay Lee is kicked off of this series, Dune House of Atreides, because of uh, what Tom King did, I'm not going to buy this series. Um, I'll buy the graphic novel. I'll buy the Art of Dune book, but this one I'm not going to pick up. So hopefully uh, Boom Studios doesn't do that because it's not fair to Jay Lee. Uh, so with that being said, I really hope uh, Tom King doesn't write any of the Dune stuff because I'm never going to buy anything Tom King writes in the future. Uh, and I don't really think I've ever bought anything he's done in the past. I might have uh, picked up a comic here or there that he wrote. But definitely I'll be looking for his name in the future. And Anything with his name on it, I'm not buying. Uh, so that's uh, that. Um, but now to, to end everything on a good, happy note. Uh, the good thing I like about this is we're getting a lot of Dune content. A lot of Dune merchandise. Um, I recently picked up two Dune Funko Pops based on the David Lynch series, which I'm going to do a video on those. Uh, sometime in the near future here. And uh, also that, uh, that just the announcement of the toys, we're going to be more fun Funko Pops and stuff like that. And now with this new novel, uh, the graphic novel, the comic series, there's lots to look forward to right now as a Dune fan with the new with the new movie coming out as well. On top of that, uh, there's going to be, uh, you know, another pen and paper RPG game coming out and then a multi-online player game at some point. So we're going to get a lot of Dune merchandise, which is nice. And I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, so it's actually a really fun time to be a Dune fan right now. So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section, and I will see you at the next one. I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you all in helping this channel grow. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded.